Good day everyone! We are here to talk about the contribution of science and technology of the President in the Republic of the Philippines after the regime of former President Ferdinand Marcos. Science, Technology, and Society, or STS, is an interdisciplinary field that studies the condition under which the production, distribution, and utilization of scientific knowledge and technological system. In short, a study of how social, political, and cultural values affect scientific research and technological innovation, and how this turn affects society, politics, and culture. Maria Corazon Cuanco Aquino, also known as Cory, was born on January 25, 1933, was a Filipino politician who serves as 11th President of the Philippines becoming the first woman to hold that office. On April 28, 1992, President Cory Aquino signed Republic Act No. 7495, an act providing incentives to Filipino inventors and expanding the function of technology application and promotion institute, appropriating funds and for other purposes. The law also known as Inventors and Invention Incentives Act of the Philippines was crafted to give priority to invention and its utilization and to provide incentives to investors and protect their exclusive right to their invention. Fidel Ramos. He was born on March 18, 1928, popularly known as FBR and Eddie. He is a retired Filipino general and politician who served as the 12th president of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. In 1993, the former Clark Air Base was reopened as the Clark Special Economic Zone. And Clark is an alternate APEC site for service facilities for the leaders, for the diplomats, for the businessmen, and for the media. Former President Fidel V. Ramos believes that science and technology was one of the ways wherein the Philippines could gain the status of new industrialized country. Joseph Hercito Estrada is a Filipino politician and former actor who served as the 13th president of the Philippines from 1998 to 2001 and the 26th mayor of the city of Manila, the country's capital. From 2013 to 2019, in 2001, he became the first president in Asia to be impeached from executive role and registered from power. Former President Joseph Herap Estrada signed the Republic Act No. 8792, Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, Outlook of Future Sacking and Provide Opportunities for New Business Emerging from the Internet, driven New Economy. We push the passage of e-commerce act for which I thank Congress. We are among the very few countries whose legal systems now recognize that trade and financial transactions are shifting away from the physical and paper-based world to the rapid electronic highways of the internet. Maria Gloria Macaraeg Macapagal Arroyo, born April 5, 1947, is a Filipino academic and former politician who was the 14th president of the Philippines from 2001 until 2010. She recently held the position of the Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Philippines, making her the first woman to hold the position from 2018 until 2019 when she retired. 2010 Republic Act 10055 or Technology Transfer Act of 2009 it has become a major achievement because of the low spirit of harmonizing all technology transfer activities in the country and expanding the commercialization of government-funded research. 
Benigno Simeon Kohang Coaquino III was born on February 8, 1960. He is a Filipino politician who served as the 15th President of the Philippines. And also, he is a fourth generation of politician and the chairman of the Liberal Party from 2010 until 2016. Former President Benigno Aquino III signed the Republic Act 10844, creating the Department of Information and Communications Technology or DICT, the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC, the National Privacy Commission, NPC, and the Cybercrime Investigation and Coordination Center or CICC will be attached to the DICT for the coordination and implementation of the country's cybersecurity policies and programs. Bilagdana ng Pangulong Aquino ang Republic Act 10844 na lumilikha naman sa Department of Information and Communications Technology o DICT. Rodrigo Roa Duterte, also known as Digong and Rudy, is a Filipino politician who is the 16th and incumbent president of the Philippines and the first from Mindanao to hold the office. At the age of 71, Duterte became the oldest person ever elected to the presidency. Philippine Space App or RA11363 The law creating PILSA or Philippine Space Agency, it capped a nearly 3-year countdown during which Filipino scientists successfully built 3 microsatellites that are now orbiting the Earth. Diwata 1, Diwata 2, and Maya 1 were built under a Philippine government program that is now called Space Technology and Application Mastery Innovation and Advancement or STAMINA for Space. <music>